you get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Huh. I wanna try. After we clear this place. Yo, what up is your boy Red? And I'ma review The Walking Dead, the last season, right? The video game. Now, I've been part of this since the beginning, back in 2012, when the first season came out. I bought it, I loved it. And I've been playing them ever since, right? Season two, uh, the ones in between, season three. I love these games. So finally, I decided to play the last season. I've been putting it off. It came out, the first episode came out in 20, 2018. But due to what happened, I heard that they closed um, the studio, Hotels. But then Skybound came in and was able to help them finish the last episode or something like that from what I read. I was like, you know what? Let me see if this is any good. I was kind of scared going into it, right? Because this is the last season, the accumulation of Clementine's story. And they nailed it. I love this one. Literally my favorite game now. Even though I know there, it's very linear in a way. There's not the multiple endings or that I know of or anything like that. But it's just done to the point where it doesn't matter. This is a great conclusion. I wish we could get more, but as you guys know, those they don't exist anymore. Maybe, who knows? I heard that before this, they wanted to plan on continuing the story. Maybe one day we'll get something more, but as for right now, this is what we get and it's fucking amazing, right? Following the events of season three, The Frontier, Clementine rescues AJ from the farm where he was being kept and they're back on the road together trying to survive which is tough clementine's taking care of aj again trying to feed themselves which by now it's been what clementine's 17 years old right i think she was nine when this all started so it's been a good eight years for them it's insane that they survived this long and meeting different people and stuff you know it, it takes your toll on you and you become more aware and stuff like that they did um i'll talk about clementine more later so the events lead them to the school of troubled youth, which uh, the adults abandoned during the whole first initial outbreak, right? That's some crazy shit. And compared to other times, this time around, Clementine wants to stay with the group. Uh, that doesn't really happen much ever since, you know, season one and two. But the, you know, this time around she has someone to look out for and she has to change the way she thinks. She has to help people even though they don't really trust her. She has to protect AJ, right? That's the whole point of this. You have to mold AJ in the way you want it to, right? Whether you want him to be a badass, uh, caring, depending on who you pick is the, the way the story plays out. But the ending is ultimately the same. I mean, you and AJ have been together. No matter what happens, he will always have your back and you will always have his. That's how, just the way it is, right? That's fucking eight years of history right there. Well, they met in season two, so a couple years of history right there. But uh, this game is pretty good. Like they even uh, implemented some of the Batman um, mechanics, uh, traps, you know, attacking. There's a little bit more action here than there has been in previous seasons. It looks great. They did more like black inking and stuff. I love that. Even some of the grass is tripping me out. I was like, that, that's some heavy ass dark lines on that grass. <laughs> but it's great. It looks great. It's changed a bit, which it has to. It has to evolve. It has to please people. And yeah, even the little relationships were a nice bonus. We kind of got that before in all the Walking Deads with Lee and stuff and Clementine and Frontier. But now you play as Clementine, a 17 year old girl. You basically have to, you know, do stuff. <laughs> it's only natural. So yeah, Clementine and AJ are main characters. You play mostly as Clementine, but you get a little you know, placing as, you know, AJ. Now, like I said before, Clementine's around 17 now. In the beginning of the game, she was eight in season one, but then turned nine a couple months later. Season two, I believe she was 12. Season three, 13 or something? I don't even remember. So now she's 17, I think. Yeah, because uh, what's his name was um, AJ is now six. He was three when she rescued him. So I was three years, 13. So yeah, around 17, around that time. They're, this is their story. This is their arc and it's time to finish it, right? Clementine, we've been with her, she's little as fuck. Her and Lee, they talk about that. They talk about the farm a lot, which we're like, what the fuck, we never played that. You'll play it, don't worry. 
um aj's you know trying to he follows clementine to the letter but he's starting to think for himself a little bit and clementine is a badass let me tell you she was a badass in frontier she's a badass now she was a badass season two season one she was a kid so you let it go but um yeah going through this adventure was great i enjoyed every second of it i mean i played right through it all all four episodes there's only four episodes by the way i mean we usually get five but that's fine right um loved every second of it um clementine's tactics the bad guys here we actually get a return of one character from season one we kind of noticed it because you i i didn't have my uploads for this computer that i played on so how to do that the story mode where you make the choices you made in season one two and three so i kind of knew who was coming but it was still interesting to see them but um yeah and then we get this well, marker herds that's some crazy shit drive cars now we don't drive the car we fish you know that's that's cool right fall in love it's it's just a good story all around i mean a lot of people could say it's similar to season one which yeah it kind of is but i think that's what they were going for and even the ending jesus christ that ending scene i was watching it and seeing it though it was like my eyes I was like, am I crying? And yeah, it was just that emotional. I was like, wow, what a scene. I can't wait to finish it, which I did. But I mean, I can't, I hope we get more of Clementine and AJ. AJ, badass motherfucker, man. But um, yeah, I love this one. You guys should check it out if you haven't played it yet or even played any of the other ones. I reviewed them all. I mean, yeah, this is great, man. I love these games, even Frontier. <laughs> I give this one a 10 out of 10, man. I think I gave the second one a 10 out of 10, the first one a 9 out of 10, and Frontier 6 out of 10. Still love these games. Check them out. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.